In this lesson, we'll learn how to modify the plot itself. So to do this, we just have to double click and it brings about the graph properties. And let's head over to plot. So from the plot, it tells us that click the graph wizard button below to change the settings. So click this button and it's telling us that these are the settings that we have for this plot. We have the plot type, which is simple scatter. And then we have the data format is our X, Y pair. So we chose column Y, X, and then we chose column two as a Y. That is it. So that's a data source, as I just said. So if you want to change this for any reason, you just go to the graph wizard and it brings about the modify plot pop up. So you can go back all the way and start or you can and you can choose any one and move ahead with it. You can also just come in to whichever graph that you have, right click and then you see modify plot. So that also takes you to the same place and you can then modify your plot. So let's go to next and then we have okay now let's go back to the beginning and choose sync line scatter plot and now let's choose multiple straight line and then let's choose x many y so we have this one now let's choose column three as our y2 and hit finish so now that same plot that we had now we have we have it modified without going to start over again so let's go back to our graph properties let's put it here and now go to data so with the data you can also adjust um what shows so you can choose you can have data sampling which is let's say from let's say if you wanted to end at five if you wanted to end at one or if you want to end at nine so wherever that you wanted to wherever that you needed to be you can always do that you can also um ignore missing values and also ignore out of range values so let's say if you have one value that is like ten thousand you can just choose this it's gonna ignore it for you now to symbols so you can also come in and change the symbol types you can start with let's say and choose all these types that you see here and everyone is unique as you change you see the legion also changes as well so you can just come in and change that so that is something Oh, it has so many inbuilt ones for you so you can always change that and you can also change the size so you can come in and change the size drag it around or choose however you want it to be you can also have let's say i think one of these were ascending others a descendant so you can you can choose any one of these as well and see the sizes and then the fill color so you have fill color coming you can change this to let's say pink and from the pink you can change this to you can change the edge colors as well to maybe blue change the transparency you can change the edge thickness so all of these can be done in here easily so yeah you can change that as well okay now you have lines so if you can change and adjust your symbols you can also come to lines and then from the line section you can have the type so you can have long dashes and you can also have the colors can be changed you can change the thickness of the colors as well you can also change the gaps so there are gaps you can add 
colors to the gaps um and then change the shape so now you have a line you can change it to steps you can change it to spleen in here and also you can change the graph to be in front or behind so whichever one that you can do if you have some colors in and you want to change that then you can also do area fill so with area fill you can choose the colors you have let's say um, this one and you can choose patterns for it you can change the direction of where the pattern goes and you can choose um, the transparency as well and then the gradient angle can also be changed so that is something cool to do and then reference lines can also be added so you can have like reference lines so anyone that you check in here let's say you want a mean so you see a reference line for mean it's behind you can bring in front so this is like the mean um and you can change those reference lines so you can add as many as you you want and it's gonna be like that change the colors and customize it and then you can also add drop lines so you have the drop lines you can choose for this is for the x-axis so you have like drop lines for it so all the points drops down to the x-axis and you can also add for the y-axis so you have like drop lines and you can edit them easily here as well change the thickness change the type change the color change so whatever need that you have for your plot you can always come in here and do it so for symbols you can always also change it by just right clicking and then you see color for instance so you can change the color to let's say this one um let's let's just undo this so that we have it plain so let's say you want to change for instance the shape of this particular one you can just come in and go to hexagon and it changes if you want to change the shape again you can choose whichever shape that you have here it's the same as almost all the shapes in there in the property so you can change the particular shape of each one and then um you can also change the colors as well for them and then change the fill color to this way as well so that is also something to note and does the same for the lines too you can do same you can come in and then come to the lines you can choose solid so let's say you want this one instead you can just change it for if you have many of them you can change as many as you need you can change the thickness as well you can change the thickness of this one too as well and you're good to go